Hello. I have a personal message for Hunter Biden and his daddy, Joe Biden, after his testimony today or statement or political stunt, whatever you'd like to call it, took place on the steps of Capitol Hill. So before I get into my personal statement, let me explain to you, if you are not aware, exactly what took place today. Hunter Biden was scheduled this morning to testify in a closed door deposition that he was subpoenaed for by the House Oversight Committee. He did show up, but instead of obeying the subpoena as ordered, he stood on the Capitol steps and held his own personal press conference. During this press conference, he said that his father, President Biden, was not financially involved in his business and said there is no evidence because it did not happen. He said MAGA Republicans have invaded his privacy, attacked his family, and ridiculed his struggle with addiction. He went on to say they belittled my recovery and they have tried to dehumanize me, all to embarrass my father, who has devoted his entire life to public service for six years. I have been a target of this unrelentless Trump attack team. Where's Hunter? Well, here's my answer. I'm here. He then said, my father was not financially involved in my businesses. He was not involved in my dealings with the Ukrainian natural gas firm, Burisma Holdings, or my Chinese investments and others in the U.S. He said there is no evidence to support that my father was financially involved in my businesses because it did not happen. The White House and President Biden have maintained all along that the president was never in business with his son and never met with any of his business partners. Biden has also said he never spoke to his son about his business dealings. But evidence such as email records, records and testimony from Hunter Biden's former business partners presented by House Republicans in their investigation contradict those statements. The president's son went on to blast House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, and House Ways and Means Committee Chair Jason Smith, who are co-leading the House impeachment inquiry against his father, President Joe Biden. Hunter Biden said the chairman had manipulated evidence and misstated personal information. He said Republicans have lied over and over about every aspect of my personal and professional life, so much so that the false facts are believed by too many people. He added, they have taken the light out of my dad's love for and presented it as darkness. They have no shame and House Republicans have engaged in unprecedented political interference. Yet here I am, Mr. Chairman, taking you up on your offer. I've chosen, he said. I'm here to testify at a public hearing today to answer any of the committee's legitimate questions. He added, Republicans do not want an open process where Americans can see their tactics, expose their baseless inquiry, or hear what I have to say. What are they afraid of? I'm here, I'm ready, Hunter Biden said. The president's son then got in a vehicle with his entourage and left Capitol Hill. Comer and Jordan last week threatened to hold Biden in contempt of Congress if he defied the subpoena and failed to appear for this deposition today. And by the way, that's exactly what he did because he did not go into the Capitol and to the hearing. Comer and Jordan have vowed to release the full transcript of Hunter's deposition if he would participate. They also vowed to then schedule a public hearing for the president's son to testify in a setting for the American people to hear from him 
directly on the House side of the Capitol. Comer and Jordan spoke to reporters defending their lawful subpoena of the president's son. There is a normal process in an investigation, Comer said. This has been a serious investigation since day one, an investigation about public corruption at the highest level. Comer said he still expects to depose the president's son, and then we will be more than happy to have a public hearing. Jordan weighed in, said if a public hearing took place first, as suggested by the first son, members would filibuster and delay lines of questioning. The way you get to the facts is you bring people in for an interview behind closed doors, just like they did with Trump in his impeachment inquiry. Hunter Biden's lawyer, Abe Lowell, and the White House have argued that the subpoena was not valid because the House impeachment inquiry was never formalized by the House of Representatives. The vote to move forward with an impeachment investigation is taking place today. Jordan said that once that vote takes place, he and Comer will, as promised, move forward with contempt procedure against the first son for failure to appear when subpoenaed. So, with that being said, no further ado, here is my personal message to Hunter and Joe Biden. Dear Hunter and Joe Biden, your lies to the American people show what true failures in life you both are. Both continuing to deny what we now know are cold, hard facts. Hunter, because you were coked out of your mind, you failed to retrieve your laptop from a repair store that you had brought it in to get fixed. And everything, regardless if it's a computer or it's dry cleaning, if you don't pay the bill and you don't pick it up within a certain amount of time, it becomes the property of the company you abandon it with. Had you not been blown out of your mind on drugs, you would have retrieved your laptop. And guess what? No one would know the depths of you and your father's criminal conduct. We wouldn't be here today discussing it. You are your worst enemy, not MAGA Republicans you ranted about today. Your laptop contains contents provided, approved. You and your father are both liars. It contained a wealth of information about the corruption and crimes you both committed. It contained thousands of emails that proved your father, Joe Biden, was 100% involved with your corruption, and that makes him just as corrupt, which is what the subpoena was about, which is what the impeachment inquiry is about. Your laptop contained thousands of photos of you, your father, Joe Biden, meeting with your business partners that you both claim never happened. It also contained email and photos to prove that not only were you a drug addict, but also involved in abuse of women and even sex trafficking women. Again, you are your own worst nightmare, dude. The laptop proves beyond a doubt you and your dad's criminal enterprise that you're both running. If that wasn't enough, your own former business partners have testified under oath on Capitol Hill in front of Congress that yes, your dad, Joe Biden, the president of the United States, was actively involved in your criminal conduct, which makes you both criminals and liars. Furthermore, it's funny that you use pretty much the same type of talking points that Donald Trump used. Yet when your criminal conduct is exposed, you deny everything and blame it on the other party 
as a witch hunt trying to destroy you and your family. So we the people say, fuck you, fuck your father, and fuck the high horse you both rode in on. We know the truth all because of a damn laptop. Without it, there would be nothing here. With it, well, it's blowing up in your faces big time. You pathetic, pathological, lying, un-American, holier-than-thou hypocrites. The truth of what took place between Joe and Hunter Biden is in the testimony of Hunter Biden's own business partners and the evidence, mountains of it, that were in that laptop. And eventually, all the world will see what horrible criminal conduct was taking place when Joe Biden was the Vice President of the United States of America with his son, Hunter. As always, please say a prayer for our men and women serving the United States military, our veterans, our law enforcement officers, our first responders and their families, our angel families, our blue and gold star families in our country. May God bless the United States of America. May God bless each and every one of you. Tune in on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Central for the live Douglas Dakota Show. Until then, take care and God bless.